Well, either way, it was a story that had the country holding its collective breath. Some starting to wonder if all this might have been staged. News Central's Dave Malkoff has that part of the story. And yeah, they're, they're all pretty rowdy, but they're good kids. What kind of kid lets a flying saucer loose over his house and lets the whole nation think he's up there? So right here, this is the youngest one, that's Falcon. Vincent Legro knows he bought his production company. Um, yeah, I call it Alternate Reality Productions. From Richard Heen, who used to live in L.A., he's the father who built that balloon. I believe Richard had told me about the, uh, the flying saucer that he was constructing like about a year ago or something. I remember him telling me about that, but um, yeah, I don't think he meant it to you know, carry anybody. Turns out it didn't. Nobody was in there, but everyone thought Falcon was nesting in that thing. I can only imagine what the, uh, what the, uh, the little boy inside is thinking at this point. The family has been on reality TV. They chase storms and have a wild side. I actually went out with him uh, a couple years ago up into the, uh, I think Santa Clarita Valley, and we were like chasing dust devils because he had some, a theory about the electromagnetic field and dust devils and tornadoes. <laughs> been rumored that this might be a big publicity stunt or a hoax. Please address that. That's horrible. I mean, you no. know, after, after the crap we just went through, no, 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 no. Yeah, they are an interesting group, but I, I don't think that he, he's, you know, he's the type of person that would fake anything. In the end, Falcon, who doesn't normally like rules, was hiding in the attic after his dad yelled at him. You know, the fact that Falcon, you know, kind of hid after, you know, he let the balloon go up, you know, balloon loose, you know, maybe, maybe he did have that one rule. Dave Malkoff, News Central.